Hey guys, so I wasn't gonna upload any more uh, after the last bit I just put out, but I noticed something really interesting and really cool. So, I got the mealworms and the superworms, right? Because I want darkling beetles. Uh, here's the regular mealworms. Let me show you them. So I've had them in here for about a week or two. You can already see lots of them are turning into the chrysalis form. There's normal wheel mealworms. There's chrysalis. Right? There's about three more in there, but the first one. So at first, I saw there was a chrysalis, uh, like the first chrysalis I saw in here, I put in here. Now that was, five days ago? Might have been a week, I don't know, I lost track of time. But there's a normal mealworm. And right about where that normal normal mealworm is sitting, I dropped a chrysalis. The first one that actually uh, showed. And I put it there with the express intention of seeing it hatch. Or break out of its chrysalis. I missed that. Yesterday it was still in its chrysalis form. It's gone now. It's turned into a beetle and is over here. Which is what I wanted. I wanted pet darkling beetles. Now, of course, darkling beetles can fly, so I got it all trapped up pretty good here. It's all folded over again and again and again so they can't climb onto anything or get out. That one is alive. It's kind of moving. It's just like lethargic. Um, nothing wrong with it. It's just being lethargic. Most of them are. Normal norms normally are very active. Uh, there's also a super worm in there. Right at the back. Can't see it, but it's like burrowed itself right into the back soil over there at the very back of the tank. And I got some more super worms here. Now, I'm waiting for one of these to turn into a chrysalis. As soon as it does, I'm putting it in here. Should I have that many tongs? I do. I got a pair of tongs right here. Yeah, you can kind of see. I actually have a bunch of them in here. They're just borrowed. And this was a full tomato plant leaf. They already ate it. So there's the first darkling beetle. It's a normal mealworm beetle. The superworm ones are much larger. Naturally. Uh, don't 
don't worry about these containers, by the way. They actually have breathing holes. Places where air can get in and escape. I did drain this tank, so I'm basically just waiting now to scoop out the gravel. I'm hoping there'll be a day with nice weather where I can scoop out the gravel, take it outside, and dry it out to some extent. Then I can store it in this bucket I'm sitting on. Ow. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so there's the first beetle. Now, I figure I'm going to color coat them on their shells. I might do that with just the super warm ones. Though I probably just only keep a couple of those. <clears throat> that won't be hard. <clears throat> just put some paint on their shell. Something that'll just like a little smudge something that you can tell the difference though I think they shed still so I'm not sure how that would work I don't know I'm not a bug guy but it's interesting so I'm doing it. if there was any other form of beetles I could keep I would like to but this is the most convenient ones I could get. Um, you know, not looking for a full-on rhinoceros beetle, you know. That'd be too big for the tank. But this is convenient. Nice, quaint, small. Gives me some... Uh, breathing room. Mm. I was also thinking about sticking one of these rocks in this tank, uh, the Oko stone, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so the first darkling beetle to complete its metamorphosis. What are we gonna call them? Metamorphosis? How about Murphy? I'm gonna call him Murphy. Yes. It just sounds right. Murphy the Beetle. Okay, this is how we're going to distinguish Murphy. By putting a yellow blotch on him. There. There. Now Murphy has his yellow dot. All right, so I dubbed him Murphy, and Murphy has a yellow dot on him. Good stuff. Best part is it doesn't harm the beetle in any way, shape, or form. I'm not trying, I didn't try to cover his entire shell because he doesn't need his entire shell covered. I'm not going for colored beetles here. I'm just looking for a way to distinguish him. So, a yellow dot on his shell doesn't get onto his 
important parts didn't touch his eyes or face or hands, legs, feelers, or whatever you want to call it, any of that. Uh, yeah, just yellow dot sun shell. And it looks like it's working fine. The lights are off and I don't want to turn them back on, but you probably see it from here. It's just digging in the dirt right now. Yellow dot. Murphy. Paint is completely non-toxic, so it's all well and good. And it will not harm the beetle. The important part. So. I think darkling beetles live up to like six months. But uh, I think that's what it said, like six months. And all I know is Murphy wins the race to Beetlehood. And uh, yeah, that's it for this little short little video. Peace.